Welcome back to another video. This time we'll be discussing the invoice tracker Excel template. And in the previous video, we talked about how we can create sales invoices for our customers using an Excel template. And this time we'll be able to manage all the finances related to those invoices. So we'll be able to figure out how much invoices are due and uh, we can track the payments made by our customers and thus we will be able to figure out which invoices are late and how late they are and also estimate how much amount is expected in the immediate future from the invoices. So all of this can be done in a simple Excel template. So we'll see how the template works in this video. You can download this template for free from inzara.com. Now let's get on to the live demo portion of this video. Okay, so this is our template where I have filled in some sample data. There are some instructions in the home sheet and I'm gonna skip these for the demo portion here and go directly to the invoices sheet. This is where we enter the invoices that we have. The table below here is the list of invoices that I've already entered. So I have entered about 12 invoices and the customer associated with the invoice, the invoice date, due date, and the invoice amount. And then when the customer made the payment, then I've entered the paid amounts for those invoices. These four columns towards the end, the green colored ones, are automatically calculated. So they automatically calculate how much amount is outstanding on the invoices and also puts a status if the specific invoice is past due or if it is due today or if it is just current, which means that it is not due yet and these status will be automatically calculated. And also if they are past due, then how old or what is the age of those invoices? So we will see the options to say one to 30 days, 31 to 60, 61 to 90 and 91 plus. And this helps us to identify which ones are really late versus you know how, how late these invoices are. The last column is primarily um, to identify which rows are being selected in our filtering criteria. So you will see that you have these filters, otherwise called as slicers in Excel, where I can say, I want to see only the invoices which are past due. So I click the past due, then you will see that only those invoices are listed for me. So this last column is helpful for this filtering functionality. So you can ignore this, don't make any changes to it. Uh, it'll just be there. And as I said, we have these three filters. So you can also look at only the invoices which are past, let's say more than 90 days past due. Then I can just click that and see the only invoice there, which is past due for 91 days or more. And now I can clear these filters by just clicking this button and then it'll clear the filter. Now I will see all the invoices. Similarly, if you want to see only invoices for a specific customer, I can click that and only see those invoices. The other thing is when we apply these filters, you will see that the amounts at the top are also changing. So the amounts at the top, these displays the summary numbers. So for example, we have six invoices that are current. Out of the 12, six, them, six of them are current and six are past due dates. And the amounts associated with those invoices are displayed here in yellow. And for the past due invoices, we can also see how old they are or what is the age of those past due invoices, how many there are and the amounts associated with those. Finally, we have the expecting payments, which is based on the invoices we have seen here with the due dates, we are calculating how much can we expect in the next seven days and how much can we expect in the next 30 days. I believe it's important to have a good uh, view into how much amount can we expect in the immediate future so that we can plan around it. Uh, and then this is just the date. Today is August 1st when I'm recording this video. So you'll see the date appear there automatically. So this is all this uh, template has. It's a very simple, you know, you can enter your invoices. So if I want to enter a new invoice, I can just go ahead and type this in here. It will automatically start getting included in the calculations. But right now it is not yet because you see the red borders. This indicates that there is an error. So the status indicates an error. So why do I have an error? Because I haven't filled out some of the required fields like the due date. If I don't know when the invoice is due or if I don't have an amount, that's an error. So let's quickly fill this out. So let's say I have a new customer, customer seven, and the invoice date, let's say today is August 1st, 
and then the due date let's say is August 15th and still there is an error and so I'm going to enter an amount and now you will see that the status is current. So this says that this invoice is a, is current and it is not past the due date yet because it's 15th August is the due date and today is August 1st. So it is not past due and we don't have any more errors. And another thing is that you will notice this data or this display updated to show seven invoices. Now the amount has changed. And if I change this to 700, that update. So this is how immediate and easy this template is to use. Just enter your invoices and whenever your customers make payments, just enter it in the paid amount column and you can add any number of invoices as you need. The uh, a few more things where we can customize this by the uh, by default, there won't be any formatting of dollars or anything like that because I want to make sure that this is applicable to any currency. So what you want to do is to just say control G and then select currency cells and now all the cells where currency is involved will get selected and now you can press control one and choose any other currency that you may want to use and hit OK. So this is how you can customize this template to your preferred currency format. The other options here are you can sort easily by, for example, if you want to sort this by due dates, just click this and then say sort oldest to new and then it'll now sort based on the due dates. You can also sort based on invoice date or amount or any of these fields. So feel free to sort them. Okay, so now a couple more things. So now if I want to calculate the due dates automatically, for example here, if your due date is always going to be 30 days from the invoice date, then you could just write a formula here to say equals, select the due date field plus 30. And what this is going to do is to apply 30 days to this. And now you want to make sure that you hit overwrite all. Then only this calculation will happen to all the rows. If you don't do that, it will not happen to all the rows. So if, if in your case, the due date is always 45 days plus invoice, then put equals invoice date plus 45. So this is how you can make the due date automatic. The uh, last thing I wanted to point out is you can add more columns very easily and you can just type in here in the cell K14. If you want to write some comments or notes, just type that in and then start writing your notes, the customer call, something like that. So you can make notes on specific invoices easily by adding a new column. You can add any number of columns and you can resize this, all this. Just make sure that these uh, four columns, which are formulas, don't get edited because if you edit the formulas, then it'll be, uh, it could become incorrect uh, if you're not making the right changes. Okay, so now this is um, all about this template. Very, very simple to use. Keep track of all your sales invoices all in one place. Really have a good control of which invoices are past due so that we can follow up. Have a good idea of how much payments will be expected in the next seven days or next 30 days. That is the purpose of this template. If you have any feedback on the features included in this template, or if you have any questions about what this template can do, please leave them in the comments. I really look forward to your comments. I'll be very glad to respond to your questions. Thank you very much for watching this video.